a thread by Carlos Osuita. I think I just confirmed what I thought. It should make you admire Donald Trump even more. So here are all the retired military leaders piling on for something that never happened. From Newsday.com, General's Disdain, not the military parade Trump. General's Disdain, not the military parade Trump wanted. You need to understand that the greatest weakness in our armed forces are the generals and admirals. For example, the history of the AC-47 gunship, Puff the Magic Dragon, spooky. The Army desperately needed some form of close air support aircraft to keep the Viet Cong and North Vietnamese Army at bay. He had helicopter gunships, but they weren't effective. Jets would come in on fast passes, drop bombs, and leave. The enemy would simply hide under the thick jungle canopy and then come out almost unscathed. So an Air Force lieutenant revived an idea the Germans invented in World War I, aircraft with side-firing weapons. The aircraft makes a pylon turn, keeping it right over the target indefinitely. The side-firing gun pours fire on the target until everyone is taking a dirt nap. The Air Force lieutenant told his superiors, and they said, what? How? I don't like it. This is too weird. Go away. So the lieutenant designed the gun mounting with his own money. Then the Air Force let him demonstrate the system with an M134 minigun if he agreed to pay for the ammunition himself. So he begged and borrowed until he had enough money for one belt. The gun fires 50 rounds per second. The demonstration was a rousing success, so all these old bastards decide to approve mass production of conversion kits for C-47 cargo aircraft, the military version of the DC-3 airliner. The DC-3 has no metal fatigue. It can be used forever. The lieutenant and three conversion kits were sent to Vietnam. As soon as they landed, the local general ordered them back home, and he confiscated the conversion kits. The gunships did not comport with Air Force doctrine. The Pentagon had to straighten it out. Puff the Magic Dragon was so successful that the Air Force sent 41 to Vietnam. They circled the Viet Cong and North Vietnamese Army and wiped them out with 157.62 millimeter rounds per second. Not one village or hamlet protected by Spooky was ever lost. And don't kid yourselves, the Viet Cong were rabid animals. They murdered everyone in sight regardless of age. They were terrorists. So, back to our ex-generals who hate Trump. Others include Army General Raymond A. Thomas, a former commander of U.S. Special Operations Command. Thomas was U.S. SOCOM commander when the USS Jimmy Carter carried out two combat missions in the Pacific. Note the Jolly Roger flag. The Jolly Roger means we done had a scrap and we won. The missions were never leaked. When Trump was sworn in, he said our generals and admirals were rubble. We can see that the former commander of our special operations units hates Trump and always did. This is in Dutch, but it shows what the Carter does. It inserts and recovers special operations units. The Carter also launches remote-operated vehicles, ROVs, and many subs that carry troops. I was absolutely positive that if we did something to the Chinese or the Korean People's Army holding Kim Jong-un hostage, the U.S. military leadership would rebel. John Bolton is a total moron. Here was Kim Jong-un's real position in North Korea. Does he look like an absolute dictator to you? I knew that when Trump became president, he would have insubordinate leaders who would sabotage him by leaking. So if, and that's a big if, we did something to the Chinese and or North Korean army, we used our allies, Saudis and Emiratis and maybe Israelis. The U.S. SOCOM leadership was kept out of it, so they had nothing to leak. 
The UDS military leadership has a long history of corruption. In World War II, the branches of service would order more trucks, for example, than they needed and sell the surplus, pocketing the cash. Oh, sorry, thread got broken up. Scrolling down, we're almost there. In World War II, so these present day creeps deserve to be kept out of the loop. Everyone below the rank of major is fine. Above the rank of major, you start to get problems. Political problems. Trump anticipated this clearly. And you worry that he can't beat the Democrats? YouTube.com watch as Nancy Pelosi gets George Floyd's name wrong and calls him George Kirby. George Kirby was a comedian, singer, and actor. What is it that black people say about white people thinking that they all look? The Democrats and their lackeys in the armed forces are taking the world's longest pratfall. It's Trump against the world, a totally unfair fight. The world never had a chance.